Now you said that came from Poland. Yeah, that was from Poland. That's awesome. So that was more, that was born in Brown. <laughs> it's like a new town right now. Huh. You said spring coming out. Oh, right there. And why is that insulated? Just to keep, it's all copper, copper transfers heat fast. Huh. I didn't bring my jar. I want to get right off the top. <laughs> well, that's cool. Now you've got another one of these outside, or what is it for? That's uh, where we blend. Huh. We'll have to finish building that out and blend it out. That's awesome. Oh, you know, I was telling you, I have that friend in Bulgaria who's doing the brewery. I'm helping him with the drawings. He would. Uh, he he's probably going to know what this is. What's it called? It's a Genio uh, ER2. It's the first one stateside. This uh, biggest one they've built. Uh, first one stateside? Mm -hmm. is, this, is this a heat sink? Yeah, heat sink. And there's a lot of technology in this problem. A lot of Those are little copper coils? Yeah. Because copper pulls impurities out of alcohol. What about that? This is primarily for our vodka. That is awesome. Look inside the top secret tank. You can see the heat now. What's going on there? Oh, yeah. And what did you say those top elements do? Or what are they? What are those? Up here, there's a lot of stuff going on up there. Basically, <laughs> it don't allow you to alcohol to leave until we specify what proof and everything. Oh, that's pretty cool. But this is really cool here. You said this was for making vodka, or you can make yeah, other? This, you can make just about anything with this, but we use it primarily for vodka. I find this interesting for some reason. I don't know. Then you'll take those out every so often and clean them. Um, what do you do, to, like tumble them in a... No, actually we use a solution of hydrogen peroxide, water, and citric acid, and it'll huh. strip it to look like brand new copper. I had a, I had a vision of putting it like, like a tumbler you used to cut, right. cut yeah, <laughs> the clean ER, casings. <laughs> this is a ERG2 1000 liter. It's the very first one stateside. The biggest one they'd ever built. Now they built this in a three and a five thousand. We're gonna get some of those too. Yeah. But this will produce uh, 198 proof liquor. Wow. That would kill me. <laughs> it's got a bunch of refraction points in it. That is awesome. That's old fashioned there. Built that way. What so is it now? This is mash ferment now. Oh, it's the mash fermenting. Yeah. You can see the corn floating there yeah. on top. Now, when you go to smell it, don't get too far below the level because it will take your breath. I'm almost afraid to even try. It's like smelling salt and butter. Okay, I'm chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk it. Oh, you can? Yeah. But it will, if you get down there too close, it'll burn your nose. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. This is what I was wondering. I was I was asking Paco, how do you keep bees from wanting to come in here? Well, we've got these ports with the, the one buys. Everything we do is open fermented. Yeah. So uh, you think all the honeybees will be one in here? Well, once once this starts producing, all these bugs are down to pure carbon dioxide. So nothing wants to go in there because they can't breathe. But just like we wouldn't. But, be but like mosquitoes go after, right? Don't they go after our breath? Carbon, that's how they... Well, they do somewhat, but this is such a concentration that they know better to go in there. <laughs> it's a very, they know better than Mr. Tennessee Whiskey. <laughs> and I just start talking about bees. Now, this is cool. 
How old is that? That one is probably 150. 150 years old. And then this guy here, this is a gas burner off an old steel mass produced hundreds of thousands of gallons of liquor through the years. What is it? Uh, it's a big gas burner. Oh, gas burner. Okay. That's how they used to lock the pots. Oh, okay. They did it underwater? Yeah, the old timers do this underwater. They drill that hole and then they'd run the mash in here. So that worm that's on the wall over there, what they didn't realize was they wasn't cooling the alcohol vapors enough. So they'd catch the vapors in this jar and it recondensate because of the outside ambient temperature and they'd catch all their liquor. They couldn't they didn't figure out that, that worm wasn't enough to cool itself. Oh, this is one of the old ones then. Yeah, that's the old ones there. But they'd use that jug to catch the extra vapors. That way they didn't lose none of their alcohol. That's pretty cool. Is that the one you used before you got your license? <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That, well, that's a lot run through it. I didn't. Uh, I that's funny. People, 